You've heard of the NBN Broadband Access Network, right? And you've heard you're getting an FTTC connection, but you're probably wondering what that is. So, let's take a look then. FTTC is short for Fibre to the Curb. FTTC connections deliver your new plan from an NBN distribution point unit through the existing copper network and into your home. Fibre optic cables connect to an NBN distribution point unit, which is usually located underground near the curb outside your home. Then, from the distribution point unit, existing copper cabling is used to deliver your new plan into your home. NBN uses VDSL2 technology over the copper network, in combination with the NBN fibre network to deliver you fast broadband. To connect your phone and internet service via an FTTC connection, you'll need an NBN connection device. You'll also need a Wi-Fi gateway compatible with the NBN access network. Your phone and internet provider will supply or recommend a compatible gateway, as it's unlikely your current modem will work with the NBN access network. While NBN doesn't currently charge for a standard installation, you should check with your provider if there are any additional fees. To switch to a new plan, check your address to see if you're ready. Remember, NBN is a wholesaler. It builds and maintains the NBN access network, but doesn't sell phone and internet services direct to the public. So you'll need to order your new NBN powered plan from a provider. In some cases, a new wall socket will need to be installed in your home. Your provider will give you a connection date and let you know if you'll need to be home on this date. In most cases, you won't need to be. Your provider will also let you know when your service is active. Once it is, you'll need to plug your NBN connection device into your Wi-Fi gateway to connect to your new plan. If you ordered a home phone service, you'll now need to connect your phone directly into your Wi-Fi gateway. Finally, you can connect your devices to your gateway using the Wi-Fi password given to you by your provider or connect directly using an Ethernet cable. If you have any problems with your connection, speak to your phone or internet provider. They'll be able to help. Also, devices connected to your new phone or broadband service will not work during a power blackout. So consider having an alternative form of communication handy, like a charged mobile phone. And if you have safety critical devices, such as a medical alarm, monitored fire alarm or lift emergency phone, contact your device provider to check these will work before switching. It's also important to register these online at nbn.com.au slash compatibility. To learn more, visit nbn.com.au.